Boys, this is the Super Bowl theme team. The latest and greatest theme team in Madden 24, and it's a 70 out of 70. Every Super Bowl player on this team gets plus three speed, and so this is the new best team in Madden 24. But who is the quarterback to lead us to a Super Bowl with the Super Bowl theme team? Will it be Patrick Mahomes? Will it be Brock Purdy? Or will it be Doug Williams? Well, today we're going to find out who is the better quarterback between Mahomes and Purdy. Both of these cards are incredibly similar. We're going to run the first half of the season with Mahomes. We're going to run the second half of the season with Brock Purdy. Whoever we like as a chat, we're going to vote, will be our quarterback through the rest of the season and hopefully lead us to a Super Bowl. Let's start by looking at Patrick Mahomes, who's going to start our season for us. Patrick Mahomes is the MVP in most people's eyes, even though Lamar won it this year. I don't think there's a player that gets more media attention and attention from fans than Patrick Mahomes. 94 speed, 98 throw power with 99 throw under pressure, 97 play action, 97 throw on the run. This is one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You can make the argument it's the best quarterback in the game. But another quarterback that gives him a run for his money and is honestly incredibly similar to that is this Brock Purdy Super Bowl card. 93 speed, 97 throw power, 99 throw under pressure, except he's six foot one. You might be noticing some of his stats are a little worse, but I think his animations are a little bit faster. So again, we're going to be seeing between these quarterbacks who's got that dog in him and who can take that starting spot for us. The rest of the team is going to stay constant. We've got Christian McCaffrey as our starting running back. This guy's probably the best running back in the game right now because he's got 99 speed and gets human joystick for free. Uh, this ability has been great in years past. I haven't used it yet this year, so we're going to see just how valuable human joystick is on Chris McCaffrey. The other running back we have on our roster is going to be Terrell Davis, who also has 99 speed. The only reason we're not going to be using him as much is because he doesn't get human joystick so McCaffrey takes the edge over him. Debo Samuel is going to be our slot wide receiver. He gets mid in elite. Our two main wide receivers are going to be Plaxico Burris, who is six foot five with 99 speed, and MVS, who is six foot four with 99 speed. We're typically going to be running three receivers, whether we're running trips tight end or U trips. However, we have two all star tight ends. We got Kyle Pitts who is six foot six, and Kyle Pitts has 98 speed. This guy just came out today from the Madden Bowl event. Shout out to Henry winning the first million dollars in the MCS. But our other tight end is Dave Casper, who also has 98 speed. So it's not every day you have two tight ends who can take the top off of a defense and are incredibly valuable. So we're going to be running a little bit more single back wing slot. We're going to be taking Debo Samuel off the field, and we're going to be running two tight end sets, and we're going to see how successful we can be with Dave Casper and Kyle Pitts. So that's our entire offense, boys. The O-line is a bunch of killers as well, uh, even though I didn't talk about them too much. Let's go over to the defense. We got Ronnie Lott at free safety. This guy can lay the lumber. He is an MVP of 1-800 clock cleaners. He loves to clean clocks. 99 speed, 95 man, 98 zone, 97 hit power. At six feet tall, 200 pounds, he gets a deep zone KO. So this is just a combination of deep out zone and deep in zone. And so it's very valuable for safety players to have this ability. Our other safety is Cam Chancellor, the Legion of Boom Enforcer. 99 speed, 92 man, 98 zone with 98 hit power. He's a little bit bigger at six foot three, 225 pounds. And he's got the same combination of abilities as Ronnie Lott. Got pick artist and that deep zone KO ability, which is probably the best defensive ability in the game. Now for our cornerbacks. The first one is going to be Herb Adderley. This guy has one of our lighted up tokens on him. 99 speed, 97 man, 97 zone. He also has deep zone KO for 2 AP and mid zone KO. We don't have pick artist on him, but we do have zone hawk. Light it up edition, which is going to be on for about half the time. It's going to help his catching and reaction time in zone coverage. Our other corner across from Herb Adderley is going to be Shavarius Ward, the current all-star for the 49ers. Shavarius Ward has 98 speed, 99 man, 97 zone with 96 press at 6 foot 1. We do not have a lighted up token on him, but we do have mid zone KO and deep zone KO as well. So all of our four corners of the defense are going to have some type of zone KO. Now for our slot corners, we got Mel Blunt who also has 90, 99 speed. Mel Blunt is known as a hard-hitting corner, so he's going to be blitzing a lot off the edge and helping us in the run game. And the final cornerback is another hard-hitting old-timer in Night Train Lane at 99 speed as well, with very high hit power and high physicality, helping off the edge as a blitzer or in the run game. Our two users over the middle are going to be middle linebacker Chuck Howley. I wanted to use the lighted-up token on this guy because he can get universal coverage all game. Uh, but chat told me that was not a good idea. He's got 98 speed at six foot two. He's 228 pounds, so a little bit beefier. Not going to get pushed around as much in the run game. And the other linebacker is going to be joining him as a user is our left outside linebacker, Leo Chanel, 98 speed. 
Six foot three, 261 pounds. So these two are going to be over the middle for us uh, and helping so we don't get gashed in the run game. D-line is going to be made up of Chase Young, Warren Sapp, and George Karloftis. This is what makes this team so good. It's the lighted up X-Factors on the D-line. Warren Sapp is going to have unstoppable force for most of the game. And George Karloftis is going to have Colossus for the entire game. I'm only going to have to blitz three. Because Warren Sapp and Curious George down low, they're going to be wreaking havoc on the offense. And I think that's what's going to make our job so much easier with this team. And now a word from the sponsor of today's video, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the easiest way to play fantasy sports. Now you can win money while watching your favorite players make plays with Underdog's Pick'em Game. The game is simple. You pick either higher or lower on a player's stat total. The more you get correct, the more you win. If you get five correct picks on a single entry, you get 20x your money. So the more you know about sports, the more you can win. Here's an example of an entry I won the other day. I had lower on Darius Garland and Jason Tatum, and then I picked higher on kills in an esports match. All ended up being correct, so I was awarded a 6x payout. All new users on Underdog get up to $100 for free when you sign up using code MAZE. They double your initial deposit, so whatever you put in the app, you get twice as much of it for free. On top of that, anybody that signs up before the Super Bowl on Sunday gets a free special on Patrick Mahomes. All he has to do to win this pick is get one yard. So if you sign up using code MAZE, you're going to get up to $100 and your first pick for free. It doesn't get better than that. In order to play underdog, you must be 18 years or older and live in a state where fantasy sports are legal. If your state is in yellow, you're good to go and sign up. So once again, thank you to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. If you guys decide to sign up using my code, shoot me a DM and I'll give you some tips on how to be most profitable with your picks. Back to the video. All right, boys, game one. We're going against Doug Williams and a Tampa Bay themed team. We got a home matchup for Patrick Mahomes, who is our first quarterback up to test out this Super Bowl theme team. So here we go, boys. Single back wing slot. All right, we are going to be looking for the deep post to Plaxico Burris on play one. That's what we want. Play one. And you know what? I had it, I think. I think I had it. I wanted to take a shot early. Shot didn't pay off, but I think we scared him. I think we spooked him. All right, so he does have two interior X factors. He's got unstoppable force on Mad Bukaki and Warren Sapp. And you know what? We can't get a we can't get a breath back there. We can't catch our breath. Nothing. Third and nineteen. Not a good start. Not a good start. So my opponent has been running nothing but man coverage on the first couple downs. I'm gonna assume this is more of the same. There we go. It is an MVS. You know you want to run cover zero. It might pay off for you more often than not. But when you get beat, brother, you're gonna get beat bad. That's a touchdown. All right, third and four. We are running basically a stock cover two with an a gap blitz coming at him. And he throws it underneath, surprisingly, only picks up a yard. The corner route was about to be wide open. I don't know why he threw that. And we scream at him, buddy. We're hollering at him. We're in that ear yapping. He can hear us. You see, he's not going to block anybody. And then that's when we know we're going to win sending four. You got to block somebody. You got to do some slide protection. Watch our A-gap screamer just get right to him before he can even think. Now, the next thing I want to tell you guys is I can almost guarantee you we're getting cover zero again. All right? There's no way... That he's switching up his defense that much. So I'm going to be trying to go to Debo Samuel on the wheel route. I'm going to see if Debo Samuel can win up that right sideline. It looks like he is. And it wasn't even cover zero. That was a bad read by me, Chad. Bad read by me. But not two. So we can double team that guy. And hopefully that makes a difference for us. And there's our running back. Chris McCaffrey wide open. Why in the world would you leave him open? Of all people. His user tried to play too aggressive. All right. And we're up two possessions now, man. This is not a cover two, by the way. That was the worst defense I've ever seen in my life. And he ran out of bounds. You know, I think he, he could have got a lot more yards than he did. All right, I messed up bad there. All right, if that snap ever comes. Just absolute bag. Absolute cage. You're like a tiger in a cage. Welcome to the circus, Buster. Welcome to the circus. I'm gone. You're not touching me. First down. Now, I do want to give my opponent the message. We got one minute to get 21 points, all right? So I'm going to try to get in the end zone ASAP. There's Kyle Pitts. Sideline. All right, hey, we're going to give him the message. I'm going to score eight on this drive. It's going to be 21-0. Snap the ball. I 
I didn't get I didn't give him the message. I consider this a massive failure and uh in fact it's very embarrassing. That unfortunate. Flush it. On to the next one. On to the next one. Oh god. Oh god, that was me. That was all me. I thought he was gonna run it for sure. We are slowly breathing life back into this man, okay? Lock it in. Lock it in. He runs a play action again. I'm all over it this time. Okay, I'm not! Vita Vey is 350 pounds, yet he glides like he's on ice skates. Boom! What'd I tell you? And, and you're, you're gonna make the mistake of going for this on fourth and nine, buddy. Fuck! Boom! Give it to me! It's never too late to hold the door! Night train lane! Made a play when it mattered most, boys. And now that man is getting paid. Masterclass on how to get paid. You know what I say, huh? You know what I always say. We bend, but boy, we don't break. We never break. Next game, we got Astro Hulk. I think that's our top three. That looks like our top three. And he's got what looks like a Niners-themed team. So that could be our team. I don't know who's who. But he's got a very similar team to us. Third and eight. This is a huge down right here. I know he's going to want to go in this little gap right here. We got a guy there. We got a guy there. And it's a first down for the Chiefs. Great defense. Great defense. We put our guys in positions to succeed. Take another look, man. We had a 25-yard flat out there. All right. And uh, he was just lurking, waiting with Zone Hawk. And that's why Zone Hawk is so good. Probably going to be hitting the corner route. There's Kyle Pitts wide open. Boom. Good throw. Nice juke. And McCaffrey can't block. Doesn't matter. Shout out to Kyle Pitts. Brand new Kyle Pitts. Six foot six Kyle Pitts. I mean, take another look at this, man. He was open early. My opponent ran zero yard flats. So we had a lot of space for that corner route. Would have been nice to get a block for McCaffrey, but hey, we don't need it. All right, boys, we are running. I, I should have turned off zone drops for this play. Nice little play action. And it's wide fucking open. Good dot from my opponent. George Kittle going to get ran down inside the five. I don't know how he got over the top. You know, I, actually, I do. I, I turned that into an outside quarter. No, he's not. Oh, he catches it! Got to go to the flats. Got to go to the flats. Get out of there, McCaffrey. We'll take the first down. Hey, if you're going to play such soft coverage in the flats, you know, I like it soft. Starts overcommit. He's not overcommitting. He's not overcommitting. He's not overcommitting at all, buddy. I'll keep taking my 20, 30 yards. Now, here's where he overcommits. All right, he overcommits. Debo Samuel's open over the top. Watch. Just kidding. Just kidding. He ran cover three that time. Either way, first down. My boy's primary read is going to be James Cook. I don't know why the hell James Cook is on the field, but that's our primary read, all right? It really is that easy. Send to the heaters. Send the heaters. Good, good dot. Boom! Sit down! He wants to go to the outside. No, he didn't. He didn't want to go to the outside at all. Okay, good dot. Good dot. You proved me wrong, buddy. That's a good dot. Way to stay composed. Get there! No! Good dot, man. We're getting, we're getting shredded right now on defense. Good dot. Hey, we got to step it up. Every time we look like we're so close to a stop, something goes wrong. All right? Let's finish these plays. All right. Hey, hey, RPOs can be tricky. You know, they're a lot to handle. That's okay. Good drive by my opponent. All right. My primary read is going to be the left side of the field. Primarily looking to the left side of the field. Circle. Oh, man. Good catch, MVS. Would it beat your man and make the catch in traffic? And we're going to be looking for one of our guys over the middle of the field to beat man coverage. See the tight end first. And boom, Kyle Pitts with another big play. We're 7 for 9, 154 yards, two touchdowns. Offense has been firing. Defense is where we've been struggling. This looks to me like man coverage again. All right. It is, it is, it is. I should have hit McCaffrey. I should, I get on the ball. Get your ass on the ball. He just changed up what he's running. All right, we're going to try to get half of this back. We're trying to just get half of it back. I just want half of it back. That's fine. That's fine. Fourth and 14. That's fine. You know why? Because we go for these. Slant post. 
That's just the worst throw I've ever seen in my life. Mahomes, I'm remembering this shit. That might be the worst fucking throw I've ever seen in my life. We're trying to hit that post in the sweet spot. What the hell are you doing, Patrick? Now, now I get it. Chat's telling me I should have thrown circle. I should have thrown circle. I should have thrown circle. Mahomes shouldn't have sailed it to the safety. We're sending some pressure up his A gap. 84 is going to be wide open. Oh, shit! Offense. Offense, get on the fucking field. All right, we're seeing man coverage out here, boys. McCaffrey, you need to look alive for the quick read. McCaffrey, we're looking at you. McCaffrey, we're looking at you. We'll take that. All right, we got plenty of time. We'll take 10 on the first play. On the ball! Get on the ball! McCaffrey over the top with 26 seconds. And Patrick Mahomes in the face of pressure. That's how you make a statement. With a missile. I ain't scared of nothing. I'm calling a timeout. I got one more. We're going aggressive. We're going aggressive. We're going aggressive. Oh, he caught it. What the hell? How did he catch that? I mean, third a million. Dude chucks up a prayer. We run some aggressive, high-level defense. He throws it right at the safety. How does he catch that? How does this keep happening? We just gave up three. I mean, I mean, how does he keep throwing it right over our heads and our men don't get the ball? Chad, I should have never called that timeout. That's on me. I got way too aggressive. I got too big for my britches, and uh, and we pay the price for it there. I'm going to step up heavy in the pocket. He's not covering the flats one bit. Oh, shit! Taking a lot of big hits. A lot of big hits. Down, baby. I want you right now, McCaffrey. Let's go, man. Hey, way to pick up a block. Let's get under center. Push this thing in there. Let's push it in real deep. I didn't even have time to blink. Chad, do we go for it? Or do we we got to tie it up. We got to tie it up. As bad as I want to throw a backside dig for a fucking laser, we got to tie it up. That's tough, man. That's tough. Didn't even have time to blink on that one. All right, those X factors on the D-line are no joke. All right, they'll be in your ass before you know it. Come on, baby. Great defense. Great defense. Way to hold strong. The play action got us. Boom. That's how you get a stop. That's how you answer. Give me my football. Right up your A-gap, buddy. If I can on the outside, I'm throwing it up to Burris. There he is. There he is. Plaxico. Boom. And we take our lead. It's been an uncomfortable game so far. But we are up, and the defense is firing right now. One more stop. We'll put this one to bed. I know what I want right now. We're going to give him a cover for a hard flat look. We got two X-Factors on the D-line. Come on, baby. That's game. Give me my ball, and let's just call this one, huh? I said we get a stop. The game's over. We got our stop. See ya. 2-0. 2-0. Game three, we got Eased King Swag. He also has Cam Chancellor in a Seahawks theme team. So the Super Bowl theme team with Brock Purdy at quarterback against a Seahawks theme team. Perfect match for the Niners. Uh-oh. I, I, I messed up my defense right there. I put Cam Chancellor in, a, in an inside third. And you know what? Jimmy Graham is fast as hell. I messed up my defense. I meant to put my outside guy in a deep zone, and I didn't get it off in time. Going to be running. I know what he's going to be running. There it is. 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 Come on. Come on, boys. All right. We, he's got all the meta stuff at his disposal. This guy is uh, he's doing a pretty good job. All right. We're going to have to figure out how to stop single back wing slot. Let's lock it in, boys. So he's running dollar, and he is bringing the safeties down. Running, honestly, very similar defense to what I run. 
Get some blocks, please. Get some blocks, please. All right, we got our first down. He's running pretty much the same defense as me. Boom. MVS on the outside. Boom! Come on, baby! Boom. Boom! Christian McCaffrey! That guy is going to win us football games, baby girl. Right on your noggin. How's that for an answer? Third and ten. I'm all over it. I'm all over it, buddy. The whole time. Chuck Howley, 98 speed. I know you see a big, beefy white boy standing there over the middle. You're like, oh, I could run past him. I could throw it over him. Think again! <laughs> that would be crazy if we got out of there. You know what? That's on me. I should have stepped up in the pocket earlier. There was a large lane right there, and I, I screwed it up. All right, boys. New play design. New play design. If it's man coverage again. All right, we're going to have that backside post to Plaxico Burris. Step up in that pocket. Throw it to Plaxico. Touchdown! Way to make the read, Brock! Now, that's why they call him Big Cock Brock. He's not afraid to step up in the pocket. Look at this again, boys. All right, he sent the pressure. We step up in the pocket, trusted our pass protection, and the crossing route from the tight end took his user out of the middle. That's it. That's it. Throw right at me. Mel Blunt, big play. We're already up seven. We're getting the ball in the second half. So if we have any type of lead, that's a victory. We're about to go up two possessions. And I think if we score quickly here, he's going to feel so bad. He's going to get out of this game entirely. He's going to leave. Take it. We'll take it. Nine for nine. Feeling smoother. He's feeling faster. Boom! Another big one! I like Brock Purdy so far, chat. I, I like Brock Purdy so far. I do. You see, what are you doing, buddy? That's desperation. It reeks of desperation. Let's get you out of here. Let's get you tucked in, sleeping tight. Come on, Brock. Come on, baby. That's how you do it. I mean, that was a test right there. And Brock Purdy, boy, did you pass. All right, man, this, this game's over. It's only, it's only a matter of time before my opponent quits out. I tried to go down at the one. I tried to go down and take off the rest of the clock. It's fine. We'll take our 21-point lead. We'll take our 21-point lead, all right? All right, now that's enough. After all that, that was the first down that broke the camel's back. All right, boys, we're 3-0. Brock Purdy feels really nice. Ooh, that's C4 is who we're playing. That's his name. Ooh, that's C4. Ooh, that's C4. All right, man. That's my top three. Let's see what C4's got for us. Dolphins. Ravens. Dolphins. Looks to me like it could be a Dolphin-themed team or it could be nothing. All right. Either way, I'm not scared. All right, boys. We've got a cover six. Look right here. The left side of the field is Mabel coverage. I'm helping anything over the middle. There we go. Good defense. Good defense. It looked like the curl route might have been there for a second. All right, boys. Fourth and 16. We get our zone drops on 25. We are sending some pressure up his A gap. And we got heavy coverage over the middle. We got nothing in the hard flat. All right, nothing in the hard flat. This is honestly just a pretty stock cover two look. Just with this A-gap blitz. That's it. I'm deep middle. He doesn't got time for anything, boys. The lighted up X factors are stupid. And they should be removed from the game. I'm throwing that RPO, buddy. We're taking that for an easy seven. Easy seven. MVS. His user was responsible for the RPO, but I saw right on the snap he wanted to bail. He wanted to go help in the run game, and I knew he wasn't going to stay on the RPO long enough. Easy touchdown. All right, we got a cover six look. We got Mabel coverage on the right side. Our blue flats are at 25. Throw that if you want. Y you shouldn't have wanted to. You shouldn't have thrown it, if we're being honest. Pick up a block for me. We'll take it, buddy. Already up seven. All right, this one's getting out of control fast. His mic is on. Let's see what he's saying. Hey, were you saying something, Mean Brother? You saying something, Mean Brother? Not directly to you. I mean, my bad. I just heard. The, I saw the mic go, and I couldn't hear what it was. Mic go, and I couldn't hear what it was. Yeah, I wasn't speaking directly to you. I'm okay. lagging and shit. Oh, okay. so. 
I'm lagging pretty bad too, can't lie. Pretty bad too, can't lie. Get out of there, Brock! Come on, Brock! Go around. You show him how it's done! Thanks, man. Fuck! Wow, Night Train is fast. Looking like DK Metcalf out there, man. Boys, we stayed in this cover four double Mabel defense. Good dot, man. Good dot! He's eating our double Mabel bullshit alive! He's eating the bullshit. I throw the bullshit at him, he eats it. I don't expect him to eat it. No way. Why would you run it again? Right up the middle! All right, boys, we are playing uh, less aggressive this time. Only Blitz in three. We've been sending the house at him every time, though. So you know he's expecting. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Fourth that and goal! Was crazy. Way to that trip was him up! Crazy. I didn't even mean to hike the fucking ball. But good thing I did, because we got a touchdown on the field, boys. Plaxico I Burris! One man to beat! You couldn't do it, could you? Fucking get there. I'm having a lot of time in the pocket. Like way more time than I than I need. I don't know how I have so much time. Like he just he just can't get in. He's so mad. I know you you'd hear it in his voice. He is he is very frustrated. Should I throw this backside post? No, I shouldn't. You catch that one. That I don't, I don't know how you crazy. catch that one. I'm done. GG. GG's. Hey, GG's, man. All crazy hey, shit. hey, 4 0. All right, and I do think we have enough uh, data to make our decision. Brock Purdy is our starting quarterback from here on out. And not only that, I'm rocking with the 49ers to win the Super Bowl. All right, this is being recorded on the Friday before the Super Bowl. So if you're watching this after, Let's hope the Niners won. Big cock Brock. All right, boys, undefeated on the season. Brock Purdy's just been named as the starting quarterback. And we are playing what looks like an MMG fan. Papa Meigs 69. Come on, boys, let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. We win this game. We are in the playoffs with a first round bye, boys. All right? Undefeated regular season. Let's finish the job. Looks like a cover three. I'm stepping up hard in the pocket, finding the post. MVS in the open field. Almost breaks a tackle. But we'll take 36, Brock. All right, get on the ball, snap it. Looks like a cover three again. My man McCaffrey. All right, Kyle Pitts on the motion. Love this concept right here. We get Plaxico one-on-one -on, -one on the left side. We throw this. Plaxico, go get it, son. Right in the hole. Easy money, buddy. You don't want to run man coverage right there. We had... Crossing drags. All right, one of them's going to be open. My right, boy's first reach is going to be that right side of the field. I like what I see. It's wide open. Need a vert hook. Need a vert hook right there. Going to need a stop. Crosser. You want the crosser. You want the cross. That's fine. That's fine. Because we're there to hit. All right, third and eight, my friends. I know our weak points. First priority is going to be the, the seam on the right side. Then we come back to the crosser. Boom, we're all over it. That's an outside corner. Swatted away. Fourth down. One for three. He is. Biggest weak point is going to be seam on the left side. Seam on the left side is our biggest weak point. All right, user gets out there quick. Running back, come back. All over it. Where are you going? A lot of traffic. Turnover on downs. It's not the ball you wanted to throw. Not the ball you needed to throw. Hot one. Little Caesars. We're ready. Two possession lead, buddy. You better come correct. Here today. Give it to me. Boom! That was for Toby Keith. May his soul rest in peace. How do you like me now? Now that I'm on my way. On your head! Fuck! That was not for Toby Keith. All right, I gotta stop. I am doing the memory of Toby Keith a disservice by throwing passes like that. I mean, how are we giving how are we giving this shit up? I fucked up. How are we letting this fool catch that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fourth and thirteen. How are we letting this fool catch that? Make him work for it here, boys. All right, fourth and thirteen. He can throw it underneath if he wants. Make him work. Make him work for it. It ain't gonna be that easy. Four verts. Easy money. 
We better get out of that cover too, man. He just wants to sit in that cover too. All right, man. I got to say, hey, hey, the wind in our sails that was all steam ahead really, really ran into a barrier that last game because that took probably an hour and it wasn't a game from the first quarter. So hopefully as we head into playoffs, we can get our steam back. Boys, we got lurked. We got lurked by the nut. This is crazy that a full year later, he's still doing it. Same dude, the nut. Let's see if we can get a little time here and find an open receiver, man. That's the goal. Even if we gotta take our check downs, I got no problem doing that, man. All right, I'm gonna play slow, I'm gonna pl play steady. And I'm gonna try to do what it takes to win this game. First down, my friends. Very, very tight window. Brock Purdy on the run, got it done. On the run, got it done. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, Plaxico. Six foot five. You better get physical with that man because you give him the clean release, it's not going to end well. All right, boys, we know he's in an RPO style formation. Come on, I'm right there. You got to dive for that one. You got to dive for that one. Not today, son. Fourth down. You better wake up. You're one for five. You better awaken, sleeping beauty. Because there ain't no Prince Charming to save you today. Good dot, good dot. But we're there! Oh, so close! We had boys right there waiting to hit that loose. You're lucky, buddy. Good dot. Good dot, but he dropped it. Let's go, man. Oh, and that's a big hit. Fourth down. Does he take three? I doubt it. That's man coverage, Buster. I know you saw the flats and you said, hey, I can fit that in there. I can throw a short side wheel route under the man coverage. Think again. You need the wide side. Notice that his bunch was to the short side of the field. If he threw this to the wide side, I'm pretty sure this is a catch. All right, you got you to run your plays to the right side, nut. You got to run your plays to the right side. You got lucky by that tackle, man. We're dicing you up, buddy. Not again, buddy. Not again! You gave it to me again! You better stop pressing that man Plaxico Burris. Especially in the playoffs. I mean, that matchup is just not working out the way you thought it would. Because I do have some help out to the right side. Yep, there it was. I called it. Double corner routes out to the right side. I had help, so I didn't overcommit there in case there was a post. He was over there dancing in the corner of the bar when I played this on the jukebox. Boom, sit down. How did he catch that? I mean, we laid the lumber. Good dot, good dot, good dot, good dot, good dot. The nut is staying alive here. Not today, the nut. Today ain't show day, brother man. Because it's mine. All right, we're already at 14. We got the ball early in the second. Haven't been slowed down yet. Won't be slowed down. I mean, we're just taking him for a spin. Right, he, he's caught in that blender. He can't get out. And we eat cover three for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Soft seams, brother. You got some soft seams. Get in there, Kyle. Just keep the ball moving, buddy. Keep that ball moving. Easy money, man. 21 zip against our nemesis, the nut. He gave us some really tough rides last year. Looks like we got him this year. Good dot, man. Good dot. It ain't happening, buddy. It ain't happening. Not today. Not tomorrow. Take me to the next round of the playoffs. All right, we got one more game till our Super Bowl. All right, in an un unbelievable display of tenacity, the nut lurks us again. I am sick and tired of this guy. I'm sick and tired of him. What a block from Debo. Get out, McCaffrey! Outrun everyone. Come on, baby. 
I mean, Debo held his block on the outside. Can't get better than that, Debo. That's a first down. All right, you might you might have hit us loose once, but you're not gonna hit us loose twice, buddy. Oh, try to go over the top. I like the idea, C Mac. I really like the idea. Come on, baby. There we go. Punch it in there. Punch it in there. Give us our points. All right. Destroyed him in the last game. Already off to a hot start here. Get there. Get there! Where's our deep out zone KO? All right, that looked like 20 plus yards to me. In fact, it looked like 24. Chain of cover four right now. Double corner routes. Good dot, good dot. All right, he's moving on us. Give me my ball. Oh! We come up from behind him and take him to the strip club. Come on, baby. Third and 17. That's how we lock up right there. We bend, but we don't break. Perfect defense. Perfect defense. He wanted to go to the right sideline. It wasn't there. We took it away with our user. Could have thrown it underneath, but he didn't want that. Let's see if he takes three here. All right. This is going to be a 57-yarder, 58-yarder. Kick is up, and Grammatica hits it. All right. 7-3. Go, Brock. Go, Brock. Show the legs. Show them the legs. Lift up your skirt. Show them your thighs. No. No! Oh, that was almost bad. You know he's writing home to mom about that one. Mom, I got cheated so bad. I was playing Maisel Maddie and he threw it right at my guy and I didn't even catch it. I got cheated so bad, mom. I would have won the game if I caught it. Maze always beats me. Why does Maze always beat me? Oh, shit! You're too slow. You're, you're just too slow. You, you gotta figure it out because you, you just you just keep getting ran by. He's a, he's a dirty little stream sniper. You know that. You know that. The nut. You're a dirty little stream sniper. Right, we gotta go get seven. He's he's looking a little better this time. He's actually he's actually moving the ball on us. We gotta convert, otherwise we're fucked. There we go. Come on. No fumbles, buddy. Come on. First down. Keep it moving. Give me seven. Give me seven right now. That's not seven. Oh, we almost got out of there. We almost got out of there, boys. Oh, we almost got out of there. Do I tie it up or go for it? I think I go for it. Come on. Come on. Huge conversion. Nuts of steel. Nuts of steel over here. On the ball. On the ball. On the ball. Spike it. On the ball and spike it. On the ball and fucking spike it. Come on. Come on. We got one play. We got one play. We got one play, man. That's it. Got him. Give it to me, Christian McCaffrey. I want money. I want Millie. I want, I want money. I want to get it with my money. I got Millie. I got money. I want to get it with my money. Come on. Fourth down, baby. Come on. We hold that door. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot, good dot. All right, he's moving on us now. No. Give it to me, baby! George Karloftis! I get caught on the D-line. Bet you didn't expect me to drop into coverage, Buster. I mean, just look at the replay here, man. I got caught where I didn't want to be on my D-tackle. We peeled off and made the play we had to make. Otherwise, that's caught for a game. He almost got there, but he didn't. No! What was that throw? Brock! Brock! 
Brock, you gotta let him get his hands on it. He's six foot six, all right? He's in a cover three. We're just making that safety work. We're not making anybody work when you throw it like that, Brock. Uh-oh. Why would he throw that? Come on, boys. Strip that ball out. Come on. Uh-oh. Corner's there. Fumble! Give me my football! We bend. But rarely do we break. I waited a little bit too long. I had a couple things open long before that. Guess what, man? He's going to get lazy after that one. He's going to be pissed. He's going to be not thinking straight. So we're going to go up top. We're going to hit him one time for the one time. We're going to Plaxico Burris. One time for the one time. Plaxico in the open field. It's over. It looks like we're headed to the Super Bowl after that one. After that last play, he was going to get lazy. He was going to get frustrated. And he wasn't going to back off that corner. All right, I don't care if he's got deep out zone KO. You're just not fast enough, Buttercup. Oh, my God. Give me my football, buddy. That's what you get. That was karma saying the ball doesn't lie. You got your clock cleaned. And that hit stick once again. He's brought to you by our sponsor, 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. Premier clock cleaning service on the west coast of the United States on the sunny shores of Mays Island. Once again, boys, that's 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. And my opponent has quit out. We are in the Super Bowl, my friends. One game to go. All right, boys, our Super Bowl matchup is here. Niners, Cowboys. We're going against Truth 31, and it looks like he's got Air McNair. Let's see if the Super Bowl theme team and Brock Purdy can bring it home. Yeah, he's probably going to send some heat at us. We're just sending the boys deep. Not really much there. Except the backside. And it's Plaxico Burris, our main man. Now, that was a risky throw from Brock Purdy. I don't want to make a living on that, but if you got to throw it sometimes, it's not going to hurt. He's got Darius Slay on the outside. I know he's got a lot of speed. Let me see if we can throw it over the top of his head. That's not a throw that, that I wanted. That's not the throw I wanted. I wanted to lob it. Hot one. Little Caesars. MVS. We're in the red zone, baby girl. Hot one! What'd I tell you, son? Little Caesars. It's hot. It's ready. That's why we got Chris McCaffrey. I'm going for two, daddy. We did our job. Defense, you're up. We got the maximum points available. Eight points on the opening drive. That's a statement right there in the Super Bowl. That just, that just can't be caught. That just can't be caught. Not that throw. I wouldn't be surprised to see some type of corner route over to the left side. I got to be there. I got to be there. I got to be there. I got to be. There we go. There we go. Hey, that's a great play because now it's fourth down. He gave up that catch. It's a different story. It's a different ball game. A lot of pressure on this fourth down. We're going to keep our zone drops on. We're going to run a cover six. Look, cover six. All right, we're going to have Mabel to the trips side. Great patience. Can't be mad about it. That, that was his last read, the last available option. I can't be mad about that. Good, good job. All right, third and four, boys. This is a big down. Running back's me. We're there! Hit it loose! Come on! We need some effort there. We need some heart. Good tackle, man. Good tackle. I right, switched up the defense a little bit. Made it confusing. Confusing, confusing, confusing! Get that quarterback! Sack his ass. Fourth and seven. Come on, man. That's the best look we could have given him right there. That was perfect defense. It doesn't get better. Not today, son. Y'all ever see, y'all ever see a, a cage so tight? Makes you want to shed a tear? Never mind. Let's go, baby. On that ball, on that ball. He's out of there, buddy. 
That right there is a beautiful play design. All right? We had a streak to take the deep zone. We had a flat to take the flat zone. And a nice little pocket for McCaffrey. I told you guys, primary read was McCaffrey on that wheel route. Look how we parted him like the Red Sea. We spread him wide, and we had our way with him. Perfect read, perfect design. Ronnie! Ronnie, you're standing there watching, buddy. Flat-footed. That's not what we teach. That's not what we preach. Wake up. The Super Bowl's looking good, boys. The Super Bowl's looking good. We are we are smacking them around. We are smacking them around. Yeah, that just happened. Yeah, that just happened. I think this one might be over, ladies and gents. A dominant performance from Brock Purdy and the 49ers. Only, only... Is he not quitting now? Maybe he's not quitting now. Maybe he's not quitting now. And there it is. The Super Bowl is won. All right, boys, our goal was completed. The Super Bowl theme team we brought to a Super Bowl. And Brock Purdy really did impress. If he plays anything like that on Sunday, I think he's going to have his first Super Bowl in real life. Good luck to the 49ers. Fuck you, Chiefs fans.